Okay, guys, I'll need some professional help. So, as you may see, I am recording right now with a other program. And this program is actually in 720p, so that's awesome. That's just good. Hmm. I love Bandicam, actually, really. So, um, all my previous videos were, were all recorded with fraps. And, as you may have seen, sometimes I got a little bit of a lag. And I really don't know why. This is a... Nah, this is not a real good computer. It it has a uh, Intel i3 530 series, 1 gig uh, NVIDIA DDR5. And 4 terabytes of memory. But this isn't a great computer, but... You know, it, it can go with it. Can go with it. You should... Can play Minecraft lagless without lag and record, but I don't know. Um, sometimes I'm getting lag, so I'm getting sick of fraps. And now I have Bandicam, and Bandicam is a pretty good and lagless program, I think. And I can directly record in 720p and just upload it to YouTube, and I do like that feature. I don't have to render it anymore or something like that. That's just cool. Otherwise, it's just gonna take a long time, you know. And you, I can still edit music in, so that's no problem. I can just still render it. Wait, no, I can just play music in the background of my PC. It will record that, and that's why I like Bandicam. It is much. I think it's much better than Fraps, actually. I like Bandicam more because Fraps, when you record. I do have 4 terabyte of memory, but with fraps when I record, your memory is gonna go stuck, Sora. Because each file of 3 minutes in fraps is like 4 gigabytes. So, as you can see, most of the time I'm having 30 minutes videos. So, 30 minutes, 3 minutes, time, 10 times four, 40 gig for one video. And I lo a lot of the time I just keep it on my computer, but... It is a lot and a lot and a lot of memory, so I don't like that. But Bandicam is just one file, and it's already sort of rendered, I think. And uh, I cleaned up my computer a little bit. And by the way, guys, I'm getting a new processor. Probably in the summer vacation, I'm getting a new processor. And I'm getting a i7 20 2600k series so that is a really good processor i really appreciate that that i can buy one so my video card is good enough nvidia and it's, it's 1 gb ddr5 so no problem with that but uh, my processor is just a little bit slow and a little bit old already so that's why i'm getting a new i7 core i just wait for the i9 maybe to come out or another processor it will be a lot cheaper because now it's 275 euros for such a processor but uh, i'm getting off a little bit i just wanted to show you uh bandicam and you have to react what do you like more fraps wait no what do you find less laggy fraps or bandicam so this video is recorded with bandicam and the other videos were all recorded with fraps so which do you find less laggy and and uh, please tell me or um, so which do you find less laggy and can you please tell me um, which one you think it's better so I think this one is less laggy and it's in 720p and I don't have to render it and that's awesome Fraps is in full HD, I can record in full HD with this one too, but that is just a lot bigger file and I don't want to waste my time uploading a file. It's about the gameplay, is it guys, and about the complex build and such. So I'm just testing Bandicam here and after episode 11 probably I'll then be using Bandicam if you guys like Bandicam more. So please comment and tell me which you find better and I'll use the one and probably I really want to use Bandicam, I don't know why. But uh, please comment, say which do you find better, and then I will see you in episode 11 with Bandicam or Fraps. So this is the uh, questions that I want to ask you. So um, 
Hope you uh, liking the series. Hope you will like Bandicam because I do. And uh, hope to see you soon. Time of Greece signing out for now.